how am I supposed to pretend everything is fine when I can't get over my ego? Be like Elsa and let it go. I'm Sean Akari and this is Akari Time. Laughter really is the best form of therapy. Which is why I joke about the news. Any good news? Please? Well actually yeah. The NBA is back at Disney World in a crowd free bubble. Fortunately the absence of fans won't hurt teams like the Phoenix Suns or Sacramento Kings. Cause they're used to playing for empty arenas. Duh. In baseball on opening day the Washington Nationals had Dr. Fauci throw out the ceremonial first pitch along with his back. He's planning to flatten the curve with a change up down the middle. Dr. Anthony Fauci to throw out the first pitch. You call that a troll? Dr. Fauci come on you're a competitor. Next time get a few reps in you know before. Iceland wants travelers to de-stress by screaming. Scream therapy is useful when you don't have the words to express your frustrations. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. In Japan amusement park Fuji Q Highland has banned screaming on rides to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Begging the question can you really scream from inside your heart? Just ask anyone paying alimony. Speaking of Jeff Bezos adds a record 13 13 billion dollars to his fortune in one day. Isn't it great when you don't have to pay taxes? That same day his ex-wife Mackenzie Bezos gained an extra 4.6 billion dollars. She is now the 13th richest person in the world for divorcing Jeff Bezos. 13. Isn't that unlucky? Not in her case. To be a billionaire you have to do everything in your power to innovate and be amazing. Or you can just marry someone else who is and take half. Alexa what's a windfall? United Arab Emirates launches Hope Mission to Mars on a Japanese rocket. In just six years the United Arab Emirates has built an impressive space program from scratch. Are you sitting on a pile of cash? Nowhere to go and nothing to do? Test drive the new Mitsubishi rocket and go for a ride out of this world. Speaking of naked space scientists have discovered 37 active volcanoes on Venus. Or was it Portland? This nudist protester spread her bare essentials to the police. Realizing there was only blood at the end of that tunnel the cops decided to pull out before tensions erupted. That's one period no one will ever forget. According to the Wall Street Journal Republicans are buying guns in response to COVID-19 but won't wear masks. Aren't they pro-life? One thing is clear when afraid buy guns. Remember guns don't kill people. Egos do. Bang bang. Speaking of wasting energy Ford reveals an electric Mustang Mach-E SUV with 1400 horsepower. The fast only running downhill automaker has designed this electric crash test car for dummies. Also known as consumers. And like any Ford these cars will need to be fixed or repaired daily. Experience headaches, nausea and ringing in the ears as you speed accelerate and crash your way to a concussion. Speaking of jokes stand up comedy is suffering during the pandemic and virtual comedy is the introverted half sibling who is unreliable because he has his head up in the cloud. Or is it Sky? Give me a call sometime. The lack of a live audience really hurts a lot of artists. It's hard to replicate the magic of a live show where everyone is together. May I just say you guys look frozen, pixelated. I don't know. I don't know. In Cool Discoveries, a new species of walking sharks discovered in Australia use fins to move on land. These incredibly cute little underwater lizards remind us that in order to evolve take things one fin at a time or else you'll end up swimming with the fishes. Speaking of crazy circus Britney Spears reveals she's saying goodbye to wearing makeup while wearing makeup. Oops I did it again. Apparently it's a big beauty decision for Britney to choose not to wear makeup or underwear for that matter. And to be honest you know I, I read the article and with everything happening in the world right now I was like wow who gives a shit. Way to stay relevant. 
Is she gonna get a medal for her bravery? I just wanna know what I'm supposed to say to make everybody happy, you know? I tried to replace my own thinking with social media, but I've realized the AI has some issues and it's better if I pay attention. Speaking of totalitarianism, wouldn't it be great if you dedicated your life to a passion and along your journey you ended up getting fired for a statement you made decades earlier where your words were taken out of context and used against you in the court of public opinion? If you're not pissing somebody off, then you probably aren't doing anything important. Just saying. This swinging pendulum of what's appropriate and not appropriate to say, it's rather exhausting. Can we just drop the standards completely? I want to be able to have people arrested just for hurting my feelings. 911? Yes. I'd like to report a crime. A comedian made fun of me and I was looking to file a meritless report to generate followers and sell ad space. I'm being a closed-minded asshole. I need to get over myself. I'm going to cancel you so hard like every live major sporting event of 2020. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Except the, yeah, not the NBA. <laughs> I want the bubble to work too. I know, right? <laughs> you know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was being rude. If someone is rude to you, call them an asshole and move on. Who knows? You might end up becoming good friends. And yeah, I'm talking to you, Richard. That's all for this week. I'm Sean Akari and this is Akari Time. I let it go and I feel a lot better. Have a good one. Oh, yeah.